the Dark Mjolnir has returned to answer your question as the Magnus Side movement marches forward to one million subscribers. 93,000 strong! Now, I decided to do a Magnus Answers tonight before signing off. And I just want to say it's going to be a long one. For those of you that like my long videos, you're going to be very happy. I'm going to try to read it as fast as possible while being, you know, just legible so y'all can understand me. But in the future, um, just so you know, I used to say this, you know, in other videos from time to time, but make sure you don't write me a book. I don't need a book to really understand your issue. Plus, I'm thinking about the other subscribers that may have the same issue as you, but because of people's short attention span, they get bored and they'll just turn the video off, you know, without hearing what I have to say to help you. So please, if you do have a long video, I mean, if you do have something that you feel is just that detailed to tell me, then send me a video. Send me a video. Make your own YouTube video, make it unlisted, and send me the link whether through Facebook or through um, YouTube. I'll get it and I'll review it. It'll be a lot easier that way, okay? All right, so let's get this in. So it says, Dear Tyrone, before I start consulting you with my problem and ask you for your advice, I would like to kindly ask uh, that in the case that you do a video on this topic, you do not reveal my personal information. Okay, I'm not going to do that anyway. Uh, since this whole thing is very unlike me, I would like to stay anonymous. Uh, let's see. So here's why I'm writing you. Uh, for the last couple of days, I've been feeling very bad. Something that I did rather to say about the way that I have behaved in the following situation. I would normally talk to my friends about it, but I'm not sure if they can give me the answer to the problem. So I'm hoping for your neutral outside opinion. See, I don't really know where to start. That's why I'm going around in circles right now. Typical girl problem. That's the reason why it's long, too. Y'all use like 4,000 to 6,000 more words than men do a day. Uh, maybe since uh, you don't know me, I should give you some background facts about myself. I live in Germany. I'm a white girl. I just turned 25. I don't consider myself the most beautiful girl since I like to stay natural, hardly ever wear makeup, and do my hair other than wearing it straight or in a ponytail. Also, I've never been on a date with a guy in my life thus far. Why? Mostly because I'm and I always am trying to be the good girl who tries to please her parents and everyone around her. Get fucked up trying to please everybody, just so you know. Um, in my case, this means that I went to an all-girls high school where I studied hard, did not even consider dating until I graduated. Also because my parents made sure that I grew up very sheltered, and I don't mean to say that in a bad way. Hey, I grew up sheltered too, I understand that shit. After high school, I started to get involved in a study program that we have here in Germany, in which you go to university in, in order to make your degree. Uh, while at this time, you you work a full-time uh, job as a trainee for a company in your area of business. The main benefits of that, uh -huh, okay, uh, uh -huh, okay, I'm almost done now with my studies, but I have never really learned how to talk to guys, flirt, or even be able to recognize the signs that are that's supposed to tell you how the other person feels about you. Especially since I gained a few pounds since I graduated from high school, I didn't really, it didn't really help build my self-confidence up in the dating matter. I just started to go back to the gym in order to get back in shape, but it's really hard. I was just about to say, why don't you go to the gym to get yourself in shape? A lot of times y'all tell me problems that you have and you know the fucking answer. Like I said, you just ask me so that I reinforce it, you know. So, yes, get yourself in shape. That's the first part. Because you, cause you, right now, you don't feel good about yourself physically. Your self-confidence is down. Uh, it says, now I've scanned through a couple of your videos. First of all, I have to tell you that I think you're very funny. And I'm sorry that it didn't work out between you and your former girlfriend. Hey, it's all right with me. Don't worry about it. 
Better things are to come. Better things are on the way. Don't even worry about it. We had our walk through life. We taught each other what we had to teach each other spiritually. All right? And it, 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 it was what it was. Okay? I wouldn't trade that experience for anything in the world because it taught me things and it taught her things. So don't even worry about it. All right? Um, I have to admit that some of your videos just made me laugh. Others, on the other hand, have been very helpful, which is the reason why uh, I think, rather to say that I hope you can help me with my situation. By the way, when you want to flirt with a guy, just look at him. Just look at him. That's it. That's all you got to do to let us know that you are interested. Look at us, okay? I'm going to try to play you, okay? So you see a guy in the library since you a studious girl, okay? Look like this. The look and the look away is what lets us know. The look and the, if you just staring like some some girls have, I've had some girls just fucking stare a burn a fucking hole through me, like they were Kryptonian. I mean, literally, I thought they were gonna burn me down, cut me in half. But um, that's all you got to do and smile, maybe smile, cut a little. Yeah, I mean, you know, thing at your hair, put your hair behind your ears, smile. That's it. Look, look away. And smile. That's it. Okay? All right. As far as from afar, I'll talk about getting close in a second if that is needed. I'm not going to ask you how to get my confidence up to talk to guys or ask you for any tips on how to talk to guys or ask you for any workout tips or any kind of these questions because I've seen that you already did various videos on this topic. Yes, I have. So I'm now curious intrigued as to what you are going to ask me as i said before uh this is more about the way i reacted in a certain situation uh that i was in last thursday okay what happened is that i had a very long day since we had a team building workshop at work all day it was very intense and exhausting not in a bad way but we did a lot of thinking and strategy planning afterwards the whole team went out for dinner which was nice but it was kind of noisy in the place, so that a couple of my colleagues and I called it a short a night shortly after we had finished our dinner and went to a local train station. Uh, we were laughing, and I said goodbye to my colleagues, and I turned uh, to walk over to my platform where my train was supposed to. Uh, uh, as I turned, the first person that I saw was this tall, normal build, athletic uh, black man. I can't tell you how old he was because I really, I'm really bad at it, especially when it comes to black people. No offense. Yeah, I know black don't crack is the term. A lot of us don't age as fast as other races. It has something to do with the melanin in the skin. Anyway, uh, but I guess somewhere between 25 and 30. I could be wrong, though. All right, back to the story. Yes, girl, you are long-winded, okay? Um, I guess one of the reasons that I noticed him is that we just don't have as many black people in Germany in relation to the U.S. Now it's starting to be more, and I'm glad about it because I'm generally very curious about other cultures. Uh, anyway, as I walked past him to go down to the end of the platform, he said something. I didn't really understand what he said when I passed him. I most certainly did not suspect to be directed to at me, mainly because I'm definitely not used to be in that situation where a guy's hitting on me. Um, I guess when I turned around, I was still smiling from the goodbyes to my colleagues and kind of met his eyes when I turned, although I'm not certain. When I got... On the train, I found myself in uh, a seat, noticed uh, him standing again close to the door nearby. My day had been so exhausting, I had pulled out my iPad, pod. God damn, girl, you are killing me. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Now, this part of the train is two seats. So far, I would have because uh, I had seen a black man like him for quite a while. He, What threw me off was that... Uh, as soon as I looked up and saw him sitting in the seat across from me, he started to smile widely and did something funny with his eyebrows. Not weird funny, but friendly funny. 
Yeah, so I'm sure he was like, or something like that, right? At least he managed to keep up a friendly, gentle look on his face. I was so shocked that I acted like my uh, iPod would be my phone and just buzzed in order to look down at it. <laughs> but I knew that I was blushing at the time because you could feel the heat on my face. Um, so I got up a little early to go down to the door further to the end of the train and he didn't follow me. Later that evening, and this is what's been bugging me all weekend. See, all you had to do was you met Sid, that you saw a guy that sit, sat across from you, gave you a smile, and there was no interaction really, verbally, and now you bug. That's it. You wrote, see, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, even some of the men write me like this. I ain't mad at you. I'm just trying to tell you, you could have you could have totally shrunk that. Um, later that evening, um, well, what was bugging me all weekend because I have been rethinking the whole situation over and over again. I feel terrible about the way I rejected because for one, I'm not sure if I was just misinterpreted or second, in the case that I did read the signs correctly, my behavior was just rude in which I will need to figure a way. Could you please share your thoughts on the described situation with God? Damn, you are a scientist. <laughs> You are a serial killer. You are so detailed and methodical with your writing. You're a great writer, actually. But uh, your punctuation, everything is there. But damn, get to the point, woman. So uh, the other thing that came to mind when I was thinking, first of all, I'm going to tell you what happened, okay? Um, he was flirting with you, okay? Um, you could have said hi or smiled back. But he probably realized you were shy, and just decide to leave you alone if you didn't want to talk. That's probably what happened, okay? Or he could have just been a nice guy that was smiling. That could have been it. He could have saw you, your eyes could have met when you were smiling with your friend, and he could have been like, oh, he could have might have said something like, oh, you're having a good night. You know, it could have been anything, okay? All right, so she says the other thing that came to mind when I was thinking about that evening is whether or not my behavior is making me a racist. I don't have any black friends here in Germany. That's another reason why I was asking for your advice. But usually I'm the one in my group of friends who has the least problem to talk to people with different cultural backgrounds, which is also a reason why I'm so surprised about what I did. You were just, it sounds, to me, it sounds like you were acting like a timid, shy girl, like a lot of girls do. It doesn't make you racist. Were you, what were you saying to yourself? I can't believe this black fucking monkey sat down next to me. I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, well, what, what were you, that doesn't make you racist. If you have any advice for me, either via video or anything, I wouldn't have wrote an email back to this. It had been too much for me. I have to do videos, okay? Um, if I may say, this, I would prefer a written answer. <laughs> That's funny. I'd say I wouldn't, I wouldn't write back. <laughs> Since I feel uncertain about the whole video thing, but it is your channel. You damn right, it's my channel, Missy. Yeah. Thank you very much in advance, anyway. Kind regards. P.S. I'm usually not the most talkative kind of girl, and I normally don't tell strangers anything about my private life. I know it's hard considering all of this above, believe me. It's almost 2 years. I mean, it's almost 2 a.m. over here, and I have work in the morning, and can't help but think this way too long and I think uh, some outside opinion helps so I'm sorry that this is, the email is so long for your information I don't have time to answer right away that's fine if you think that this is just stupid girl overthinking this situation uh huh yeah I mean that's basically what it is guys do the same fucking thing sometime like let's reverse it he could be thinking the same way right now. He could be like, man, I spoke to her. I smiled at her. What did I do wrong? Oh, man, I should have talked to her. He could be thinking the same thing. This is just normal dating, approaching, boy, girl, man, woman, jitters. Normal jitters, overthinking stuff. And it's such a big thing to you because you've never been on a date before. And you probably want to go on a date, don't you? Okay. I mean, if I were you personally, if you really want to go on a date, 
Become the best version of yourself that you can, okay? If you want to work out to shape your body, do that. If you want to get your hair done on a regular basis, learn to do that or get it done. If you want to learn to apply a little bit of makeup to accentuate your beauty, go ahead and do that. If you want to learn to dress better to make yourself feel better and put forth a better image of yourself, then do that. Whatever it is you need to do if you want to go on a motherfucking date. Because guess what? The guys won't just smile at you no more. They will actually approach. Believe that. I hope I've answered your question. Magnus site, you can give a little advice below if you feel like it too. If you like the video, press the like button. If you didn't like the video, press the like button. One million subscribers. We're 100,000 subscribers plaque on the way. Woo!